This is a really special build. It's the brand new bike from Pole Bicycles, and it's called the Sony. It's a full aluminium build with some nice 3D printed titanium crank arms. Pole are pretty unique with their frames. They CNC machine them in-house in Finland from 7075 T6 aluminium, and then they bond the two halves of the bike together with aircraft grade bonding methods. The result is a stunning looking piece of engineering with a really unique finish. The frames are then electrophoretic coated after they've been bonded, which preserves the raw aluminium finish. The Sony, which is translated from Finnish to English meaning bull, has 200 millimeters of rear wheel travel which I believe is a first for an electric mountain bike. It's basically a full-on downhill bike with a motor. The suspension for the bike is provided by EXT, an Italian engineering company specializing in damper systems for motorsport racing and more recently the mountain bike industry. The shop uses dual air chambers, one for setting sag, and the other is a ramp-up chamber, providing near infinite levels of adjustability without having to use volume spacers. The fork is the EXT era long travel version, and it provides 190 millimeters of travel at the front. One of the longest single crown forks on the market, again with dual air chambers for fine tuning the performance. On this build I'm using aluminium bars with a 38mm rise and a 50mm stem. I like to have bikes feeling high out the front, so this riser bar should allow me a decent range of adjustment with stem spacers to fine tune the fit. The brakes are from Hayes, and these are the Dominions. I've used these once before and was extremely impressed with the power, lever feel, and the build quality. They're straightforward to bleed and very easy to set up on the bike.
The motor is the Bosch CX full power e bike drive unit. It has 85 Newton meters of torque and is one of the punchiest and responsive e bike motors available on the market. The drivetrain is SRAM's transmission. I think this machined 34 tooth XX chainring matches the bike's style. These crank arms are from Cane Creek. They're 3D printed, 100% titanium. They're as light as carbon, but they should be significantly stronger and more durable than carbon material. They're manufactured using a high-powered laser and a very fine titanium powder that's fused together layer by layer until the crank is formed into this finished product. This SRAM XX cassette is being installed onto Okua aluminium wheels. The wheel set is front and rear specific, the rear wheel being slightly narrower than the front and has reinforced rims for puncture protection. Tires are from Continental, downhill casings and the super soft rubber compounds. On e-bikes, I tend to choose the softest and toughest casing possible. I find that the weight penalty is negligible on an e-bike, but I always appreciate the extra grip and damping characteristics that tires like these can provide.
This system controller from Bosch houses all of the bike's electronics. I like that it's pretty low profile, and if you prefer, the ride-in modes can be selected by clicking the button directly, if you'd prefer to run without a bar controller, which gives a super clean look out the front. The bike is powered by a 750 watt hour battery from Bosch. It's really quick to install and remove on this bike. A single Allen key is all that's needed to take it out of the frame. The bike is almost finished, just a few extra finishing touches to one of the most unique e-bikes I've ever seen. Again, again, take it out. Mm.